YTPC, good evening, Buckeye Piper. Thought I'd jump on and it's too nice of an evening not to sit outside and enjoy a smoke. So I thought I'd do a couple real quick reviews of some stuff I smoked today. And then tell one quick uh, leadership lesson that's been on my mind all day. Anyhow, uh, it's Church Warden Sunday. Not officially, but it seems like I have a church warden most Sundays for some reason. Norting church warden. And finally got out the Esoterica Cardum. And I will tell you, fantastic blend. Um, so far, my favorite Esoterica of the lot, I believe. It's very Virginia, obviously. <clears throat> um, Get a nice citrusy taste out of this. I can actually taste the citrus note in this one. And then just that nice Virginia grassy kind of kind of hay. Kind of like all Virginias are. But it almost tastes, and I had, I had somebody tell me this and I could see it. Almost tastes like peaches. But it's fantastic. Um. The only issue I had is probably didn't let it dry enough. It is a little damp out of the out of the uh, out of the bag. I only let it dry about a half an hour. It probably could have went hour and a hour, hour and a half. Hello. How you doing? Good. How Good. are you? Doing well, thanks. So that's the only issue I had with it was a little damp, a little hard to get lit. But once I've got it started now, very good. So definitely one I would say. You can try some Cardiff. If you like Virginias, this is one to grab. Uh, the other one I smoked today for the first time was uh, Samuel Goweth 1792 Flake. And I hear a lot of talk about the Tonkin uh, flavoring that they put on that and then the whiskey flavoring. I, I tasted the whiskey pretty well. Uh, the Tonkin was a little bit muted for me. Most people say the exact opposite. Most people say they could taste the Tonkin, which is vanilla, right? Uh, a lot better than they can taste the whiskey, that they don't taste the whiskey at all. I was a little bit reverse. I will tell you, though, that thing kind of kicked my butt a little bit. Smoked it on an empty stomach. Great tobacco, but highly recommend that you have something to eat with that and maybe a sugary drink because that's got a little nicotine pop. Not as bad as some of the cigars I've had, but more than anything else I've had for sure. So anyhow, I don't know why, you know, the last uh, video I posted on perspective, I got some good comments and some good conversations from folks. Uh, I had another leadership thought today I guess uh, and I don't know where it came from I just thought of it all day woke up this morning thinking about it it's a story I'd heard a while back um, when I was first getting into leadership and it kind of goes like this there was there was a gentleman who was getting ready to retire and <clears throat> he was a contractor a carpenter and built houses for a living He'd been building houses the last 30 some years and um, worked for a guy that owned his own business. So, you know, it wasn't his business, but, you know, he was he was basically the lead contractor on this deal. And was finishing up his last house and his boss knew that, hey, it's after 30 some years, he's done, he's retiring. This was his last house. Uh, really respected contractor. Uh, folks from all over um, sought him out. Um, just a good builder. I uh, never took shortcuts. Um, proven track record over the years. All around, just the kind of guy you'd want building your house if you were building a house. As he was finishing up this last house, his boss came up to him and said, You know, I know you're going to retire and we're gonna miss you, but can you do just one more house for me? I got one more we need to do before you retire. 
and um, obviously he's not going to say no. But in the back of his mind, he's thinking, you know, who the hell is this guy? You know, I've, he's known for years I'm going to retire at a certain date, right? And this was the last house. He's known it forever. And he has the nerve to ask me to build one more house for him. Are you kidding me? So begrudgingly, he he took it on. He said, okay, whatever. I'll do one more. Uh, but that's the last one. And, and uh, the owner agreed, yeah, this is it. This, did you do this one? And we've, we've already got people lined up to take over. So he agreed. And from the get-go, just had a bad attitude. Shortcutted it all. You know, half-assed most of the building. Um, just put it up as fast as he could. Sloppy. In his 30-year career, probably one of the worst houses he'd ever done. Um, just rushed to get it done so he could retire and, and, and be done with it, right? And he gets to the end, finishes it, and uh, it, you know, it's nothing to be proud of. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's built, but it's just got all kind of problems. And um, he goes to his boss to get his last paycheck and says, you know, hey, that's it. The house is done. You know, we're, we're good, right? And uh, his boss looks at him and says, no, nah, one more thing. He said, uh, I want to thank you for all your years of service. And that house you just built, here's the keys. It's yours. Hmm. Change his perspective a little bit, right? So, you know, I guess the moral of that story is give your best effort in everything you do. Because um, you never know. You never know, right? You just never know. So had he known, and he kicked himself, obviously, you know, had he known that it was for him, he would have put all his heart and soul into it, just like every other house he'd ever done. But uh, since he had a bad attitude about it and, and basically half-assed it, um, that was his reward for 30 years of, of dedicated service. So do the best in everything you can do out there, folks, because um, you just never know who's on the receiving end of, of the service or goods you're providing. So that's my fun little story for today. Again, Cardiff, very tasty. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to declare it my number one esoterica. There's so many I haven't tried, so it'd be kind of ignorant to do so. But I'm going to say it's it's a must. It's it's very good. 1792, very good. Just uh, make sure you have something in your stomach. Don't do what I did. Uh, unless you want that lightheaded kind of queasy feeling. And if that's what you want, rock out. Then 1792 will give you what you want. Because uh, it's got some power. But anyhow, folks. Um, wishing you all the blessings in the world. Stay safe out there. And we'll catch you next time.